Moving on, and three people have been arrested after two back-to-back -back explosions rocked the city of Jerusalem, with one person dead and 22 others injured. Well, Israeli police say at this stage the blasts appear to be motivated by terror. Well, the explosions happening at two bus stops near the entrances to Jerusalem, the first in Givat Shaul, the main entrance to Jerusalem, shortly after 7 a.m. during the peak rush hour. Well, around half an hour later, a second explosion rocked Ramot Junction, another entrance to the city. Police are blaming the first blast on a powerful explosive device planted at a bus station with Israeli army radio saying that the devices were kept in bags with at least one of them containing nails to maximise the damage. Not an easy morning in terms of number of injuries. We have here an outline of an attack that we have not seen in many years. Two consecutive attacks. At the moment, we can't tell if it was one terrorist or a squad that split. In any ways, at the moment, Israel's police's main effort is to scan all possibly hazardous areas, whether in bus stations, buses or crowded areas. At the same time, we are efforting to pursue and put our hand on whoever committed this terror attack. Together with all other security forces, we will do all in our power and will reach this squad. Well, in Gaza, a spokesperson for Palestinian group Hamas has praised the explosions but stopped short of claiming responsibility. While Israel's public security minister is calling the explosions attacks. Meanwhile, the European Union's ambassador to Israel says the incident is horrifying, taking to Twitter to offer condolences. All right, for more on this story, let's bring in Jody Cohen, our correspondent, live from Jerusalem. Ma, Jody, thank you very much for your time. Firstly, uh, we know a number of people have been arrested. Do we know any more about these people? Right, we've heard so far that three people have been arrested. We don't know too much information except to say that the police expect that this, uh, these attacks, I should say, this morning were probably organised by an organised cell. This wasn't done by lone wolf attackers, as we've seen in the terror wave that's been going on since March with stabbing attacks and shootings and car rammings. Now, I'm at the site of one of the attacks where explosives laden with bolts and with nails were left in a bag unattended this morning at a bus stop. Another explosion took place at another entrance to Jerusalem, also at a bus stop 30 minutes later. Where I am now, you can see a lot of people are gathered behind me, a lot of um, classmates of a 16-year-old student who was killed in the explosion. 22 other people are said to have been wounded and taken to hospital, three of whom are thought to be in serious and critical condition. Now, the police are investigating what does appear to be a coordinated attack. They're sweeping the area, looking for suspects. They've asked everyone to be on the lookout, not just in Jerusalem, like here, but across the whole country. And uh, we know that Prime Minister Lapid, who is still currently the Prime Minister, is conducting a security assessment as we speak. But just before we came online here, there were vans going around this local area announcing on loudspeakers the funeral that's taking place today of that 16-year-old boy who was killed in one of the attacks this morning. All right, Jody Cohen there for us in Jerusalem. Thank you.